Avatar The Legend of Aang is one of the best TV shows ever made. And if you just shift the perspective slightly, it becomes even more absurdly hilarious. And no one says that more than Mr. That scar wasn't the result of poor parenting. It was an aesthetic choice to cover up your disappointment. Fire Lord Ozai. Now think about it like this. You are Fire Lord Ozai. You are the grandson of Sozin, the guy that managed to conquer the entirety of the Yama Nomads and essentially killed them all. Thanks for a comment. And now it is your heritage. No, it is your birthright to finish what he started and actually conquer the entire world. After all, there is no one in this world more deserving of that than you. You have two children. You have Azula, who is, by all metrics, amazing. She is a prodigy of firebending. She is ruthless. She is cunning. She is fantastic. And then you have Zuko. He's a bit special, but you did exile him. He disrespected people in a war meeting, and so you gave him a little, a little mark on his face and sent him on his way with your brother Iroh and told him, you can come back when you fight the Avatar, which is kind of a, a wild goose chase that should not really come of anything. One day, though, one of your servants comes up to you and is like, my lord, uh, the Avatar has been seen in the South Pole. The Avatar is alive? Is it a waterbender or something? No, it appears that it is an airbender. Oh, okay. It appears that he was in your son's custody before he managed to escape. Of course, my son would let a hundred-year-old man escape. Well, my lord, it seems that he's not a hundred years old. It seems that he is actually a teenager or, or even younger, maybe about 12 years old. My son and my brother had the Avatar in custody, a 12-year-old boy, and he managed to escape. Yes, my lord, that, that appears to have been what happened. But how is it possible that he's 12 years old when he's disappeared for 100 years? Well, so the, the theory is that he froze himself in an iceberg. <laughs> yeah, right, because that's completely believable, isn't it? But, you know, that's a bit disconcerting, because if the Avatar is alive, then even if the comet is coming, like, you could actually prove problematic to you, but he is only 12 years old. It was actually more terrifying for him to be a hundred and actually have mastered all four elements, but if he's 12 years old, that probably means that he doesn't have the skills of the other elements just yet. So you can take advantage of this. He's not really going to pose too much of a threat because he only has a year to learn all four elements and everyone knows the avatar takes decades to master all of the elements, so there's not really any stress. You just have to capture him. How hard could that be? And then your minion comes back up to you a little while later and he's like, my lord, uh, it appears that the Avatar allowed himself to be captured by one of our slave vessels and then escaped and break free some earthbenders. The Avatar was in our custody again and he escaped again and this time managed to free earthbenders at the same time. Yes, my lord, it appears that way. But that's not all, my lord. Of course it's not. What happened now? Well, my lord, it appears that he actually flew into the Fire Nation and went to a fire temple and communed with Avatar Roku. We had him in our country too and he's gone again no way is everyone around me just completely incompetent this is why i took away the sage's power because they obviously care more about their precious avatar than their actual lord and king like i am the fire lord they should want to protect me what is wrong with them and you know then it's a bit concerning. You don't know what information the Avatar got from Roku. It could have been anything, honestly. But you're, you're kind of like optimistic that it won't lead to too much. That is until your, your little minion comes back and is like, My lord. Yes, what is it now? Is there more incompetence to report? Yes, my lord. Brilliant. Well, it appears that Zhao had the Avatar in custody as well. <laughs> and let me guess. Uh, the Avatar escaped. Well... A guy broke in with some swords and broke him free. One guy with swords broke into one of our prisons and broke the Avatar free. How? Unclear, my lord, but it appears that he overpowered all of our guards and, uh, and managed to get the Avatar. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that is a undeniable amount of incompetence, isn't it? But you need to focus on your invasion because it is coming up in a few months and you need to make sure that everything is going to be perfect. You are planning on a drill to get into Barsing and say, you're planning on all of these ridiculous ideas, but then your minion comes up to me and is like, my lord, the, the avatar broke into the Northern Air Temple. You mean that place where we had the guy inventing all of our war machines? Uh, yes, my lord, but I have good news and bad news. Okay, so start with the bad news. Well, the avatar broke into the Northern Air Temple uh, made our lead inventor defect and then destroyed our army and escaped. And the good news, that sounds all pretty bad. Uh, we managed to 
get the hot air balloon back. That's the good news. A f***ing hot air balloon? You're kidding me right now. You... Oh, should I just ring up the Avatar now and say, Hey, we got a hot air balloon. Why don't you just surrender? What well, even is a hot air balloon? I have no concept of what that actually is. What does it do? Uh, but Lord, I don't care about a balloon. Get me the Avatar. He's running circles around us now. Uh, my Lord, I, 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 I... Spread it out, man. I have other news. Okay. What is it now? Admiral Zhao tried to conquer the Northern Water Temple. He followed the Avatar there and tried to take it by force. And let me guess, he tried to do it in a full moon. Actually, my lord... Oh my god. Oh my god. He nearly succeeded. Nearly succeeded? I don't need to hear the nearly, I need to hear the he succeeded bit. No nearly, just succeeded. What happened? He killed the, he killed the moon spirit and then... Was it... it basically had victory in his hands and then okay yes continue the avatar turned into a giant koi fish and destroyed the fleet and Iro resurrected the moon spirit and your son was there but now he's disappeared oh my god so admiral zhao killed the moon spirit and had victory within his grasp and then lost because the avatar turned into a giant fish Destroyed our fleet, and then my brother resurrected the moon spirit, and now him and my child have escaped. Yes, my lord, but that's not all. No, of course it's not. Azula has taken a personal interest in this mission. Oh, okay, no, no, that's actually really good. Okay, get her on the case, because if there's anyone I can trust, it's her. She needs to get on it right now. Yes, my lord, quite right. In the meantime, your army gets to work on the Earth Kingdom, and they take her Marshu, and they really start capturing some territory. Every inch that you gain now will make it ten times easier when the comet arrives. And Azula is in a Marshu now, and she is doing her bit to basically win you this war and your minion comes back. My lord. Yes, minion. It appears that the avatar was in Omashu. So the avatar was captured by Azula. Uh, not quite, my lord. No, it goes. Okay, yep, 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 okay. I can't even trust Azula at this point. He escaped, my lord. It appears he was trying to get that Boomy, King Boomy guy to teach him earthbending. So where's he gone now? Deep into the Earth Kingdom. No one knows for sure. That's not good. If the avatar does get an earthbending teacher, he will start trying to master all of the animals. Actually, no, who, no, no, there's no problem. He, there's like six months until you invade the Earth Kingdom. Even if he got an earthbending teacher like yesterday, he's not going to be able to master that element in six months. It's just not possible. By all metrics, he doesn't even have a firebending teacher. So what do you have to be concerned about? You, There is nothing that can go wrong. So you just keep going full steam ahead with your plans. Doesn't matter about the avatar. He can try and stop you if he wants, but realistically, he's not going to be able to. In the meantime, your drill is on the way to Ba Sing Se, and your minion gives you an update on that whole thing. My lord, I have news. Good news, I hope, because, you know, that drill was very expensive, and, you know, you would think that those walls were developed to keep out titans or something, and, uh, my lord, that, uh, um... Okay, what happened now? It appears that the Avatar was in Ba Sing Se, my lord, and him and his new earthbending teacher, who appears to be a blind girl, destroyed your your drill. You're telling me that a 12 year old child managed to take down a drill with the help of a blind girl. Yes my lord, that's exactly what happened. And Azula didn't manage to stop any of this from happening. No my lord, it appears that Azula was not able to prevent this. Oh my god, okay, whatever, great. But my lord, I have other news as well. Even though Azula lost the drill, she was able to infiltrate the Earth Kingdom secret police under the guise of being a Kyoshi warrior, and now we have essentially successfully thrown a coup into Ba Sing Se. Why didn't you lead with this? Like, why didn't you just tell me this before? Why did you have to tell me about the goddamn drill and make it seem like we got defeated? This sounds like an absolute win. Yes, my lord, but that's not all. Uh, yes, of course, yes, you're gonna... Oh, there's always some bad news, isn't there, my friend? No, oh, I'm gonna kill you in a minute. No, my lord. Zuko and Azula teamed up together, chased the Avatar down a, down a hole, and then Zuko killed the Avatar. Zuko killed the Avatar? My son killed the Avatar? He regained his honor? Oh, my god, thank god. Maybe, maybe I was too hard on him. Maybe he isn't actually completely worthless. Do we have a confirmation on the body, though? Uh, no, my lord, it appears that uh, the body was taken away way by his his friends. Oh, so we just killed the avatar and we let his friends escape. Yes, my lord, that, that's kind of what happened. Okay, that doesn't matter. Still, get get my children home and let's give them a parade. They are war heroes. They've single-handedly won us this war. Now, there is really no threat to you because the avatar being dead, you just know 
that no one can stop you now. And I mean, even the Avatar stopping you was a divine miracle if it could happen. So you can just relax, take it easy, and enjoy the last few days before you take up your place as the rightful ruler of the world. But about Iroh, my lord. Oh god, what did the buffoon do now? Turns out he tried to defend the Avatar, my lord. Yeah, of course he did. He already resurrected the Moon Spirit. He's basically a traitor at this point. Just just lock him up, throw away the key, and then when all this is said and done, we're going to execute him as some grand display of, like, a new order. I don't know. Yes, my lord, quite right. So with the Avatar dead, you kick that invasion up into full gear. Passing say is under your control. Still, Azula says we should probably go around and quell <laughs> any rebellion. That girl, she really does have the bloodlust, doesn't she? And we should still try and conquer the entirety of the Earth Kingdom as a display of force. And you completely agree, you know, force is the best the best way to approach any situation. She also tells you that while she is in the Earth Kingdom, she heard of a plan by the Avatar to come during Eclipse, because apparently this Eclipse thing takes away a Firebender's bending ability. And you're just like, oh, well, that's okay. We're one step ahead now. We'll just go and hide somewhere else. And then if they do, by some miracle, throw an invasion without the Avatar, we're going to be okay because they're not going to be able to find me. So the day of the eclipse happens, and you're chilling underground, and your son comes up and... Father! Oh, son, have you come to join me? I'd really like to be outside and look at the eclipse. I mean, this is like a once-in-a-lifetime experience. But I guess I'm just sat here and gonna have to protect myself as, uh, you know, it is what it is. No, Father, I'm here to tell you that Azula lied to you about the Avatar. What do you mean? The Avatar isn't dead. Excuse me? What? Yes, and um, I'm gonna go join him. Why? Why are you telling me this? Why would... You could have just thrown your sister under the bus and won my heart. And now you're telling me this? Yes, father. And I think what we've done here is wrong. I don't like the Fire Nation. It's it's bad. We're bad people. We are the baddies. So you're going full traitor now. Why don't you just kill me now? Like, I'm right here. I'm completely powerless. And you've got those fancy little swords. You could literally end this right now. That's not my destiny, father. Destiny? Who gives a shit about destiny, bro? Just kill me now. If you really want this to be over, this is your golden opportunity. Can you... I cannot believe that you are my son. Oh my... God, you're just like Iroh, you're so goddamn weak. Well, actually, Father, I saying that, I'm gonna go and find Iroh and beg him for my forgiveness. <laughs> Iroh? So you're gonna go and learn about tea and proverbs? Okay, my son, you do you and... F but before you go, I have something to tell you. A long time ago, your mother, she was the one that concocted the plan to poison and kill your grandfather so I could become the Fire Lord. Hang on, what? Yeah, it turns out, a bit too traitorous for me. So I decided to banish her, so she's off somewhere else, I don't know. But either way, I don't know why I'm telling you this, but eh, what have I got to lose? You're, you're, you're leaving me now, I just wanted to tell you that if it was up to me, you would be dead. I have half a mind to kill you right back down, and you fire lightning at your son. Now you were just trying to stall him, so that way you could kill him right there and then. But your son, he does not just deflect or get hit or really do or dodge this lightning bolt he takes it and redirects it at you and you get thrown against the wall and you're just like bloody hell man huh where did he learn that so you scream minion and your minion comes hurrying in as zuko has left i mean why didn't he kill you right there you were powerless you were against the wall he had these swords oh my god anyway he's not your son he's weak anyway the minion comes in run me a bath minion i knew i knew to just unwind and relax and don't forget the rubber duckies this time. Yes, my lord, quite right. So as you simmer in the tub and you contemplate what's going on in your life, you're just like, okay, we, we, it's fine. Even if he has an earthbending teacher, a waterbending teacher, and my son is now his firebending teacher, they're all completely useless. He's got a blind girl teaching him earthbending, you know, a girl from the Southern Water Tribe teaching him waterbending, and now my son teaching him firebending. There's no way, there's, there's literally no way he can even remotely compete with you because your son is weak, unless the Avatar literally learnt firebending from the dragons, there is no way he can stop you. So even with all of this bad stuff happening, you are still confident the, the invasion was thwarted and the eclipse was their best opportunity. So you can continue full steam ahead, wait for the comet, and you can just destroy everything. And as you're simmering in the tub, your, your minion comes back. My lord, we have news. Oh boy, okay. We captured the army and we took them to Boiling Rock, just not the Avatar, sadly. Oh yeah, okay, that's fine. Like, you know, that still hamstrings them and we're, we're, we're in a good place. And also it's seems that Iroh escaped. How? He was under guard. Like, what? During the eclipse, he overpowered all of the guards and escaped and ran ran away. Of course he did, because if you take away a firebender's ability to firebend, they literally cannot even fight, can they? Okay, from this moment onward, we need to have 
specialized hand-to-hand -hand combat training. I'm never having this happen ever again. Doesn't matter that much, Iroh's useless. Everything's fine, you still have the invasion force. By the way, sir, your son broke into Boiling Rock and rescued the Avatar invasion army force thing. Oh my god, how did he get- oh no, okay. How did that idiot break in and break out? It's meant to be an impregnable fortress. Well, my lord, the, 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 Azula went there in her hot air balloon and then they managed to hijack that and escape. <laughs> I told you not to play around with these balloons, man. I told you they were useless, and now you're telling me that's the reason why the Avatar army escaped? Oh my god, man. These balloons are going to be the death of me, aren't they? Actually, about the balloons, my lord. Azula wants to use them as the invasion technology because we can rain fire from the skies and scorch earth. Scorched earth, you say? Rain fire? Hmm. That, that has a, a really nice ring to it, actually. Okay, I'm sold. Let's get it. Let's get on that. So the day of the comet happens, and you are getting ready to take your place at the flagship, at your rightful place, because you are the strongest men. You are a god among men. You are ready to take over this world and become the world's new king. But just as you're about to get onto your balloon, Azula comes up behind you and she's like, Father, please, I want to come with you. Well, no, Azula, I can't let you. But please, Father, I, I, I must go. I must come and help you with this. This was my plan. This is my invasion. No, because I'm going to make you Fire Lord. I need you to protect the kingdom. Fire Lord Azula? Oh, Father, that is amazing. What about you, though? What are you going to do? I am going to take up my rifle place as Phoenix King Ozai, because that doesn't at all sound like something a 12-year-old thinks is cool, and I think that has a really nice ring to it, because I am now the king of the world, rising from the ashes and becoming a god. Yes, Father, I like that idea. Goodbye, good luck with the invasion. Do so you take to the skies, and you are, you are approaching the Earth Kingdom, and you are ready to basically destroy this whole place actually. But just as you start raining fire, you are, I mean, you are amazed by the amount of dest pure destruction you are causing. You are literally setting fire to almost the entire planet. Bloody hell. Nice. Maybe these balloons weren't such a bad idea. But then, in front of you, the Avatar appears and he throws a couple pebbles and knocks down that balloon in one hit. And you're just like, I knew these balloons were a bad idea, man. Like, a couple pebbles took them down. How useless are they? So you go for Iron Man and you you gas it towards the, the Avatar because, you know, now you can actually fly using the power of the comet I mean, this would be very handy uh, if you had if you guys could do this all day every day like no one could ever stop you but as you look behind you some commotions happens you see the rest of your airship fleet get taken out of the sky and you're just like, i knew these balloons were a bad idea like why are we why don't we just do an amphibious assault why don't we just take it from the ground we have these tanks the tanks are pretty good at least you know they're Anyway, you can't think about that too long because the avatar is looking like he's ready to run the ones and you're happy to oblige because, you know, punching children is not above you at all. You are fully ready to show anyone, man, woman, child, disabled, a piece of your mind if they upset you. And as you throw in the ones, you have him on the run. It looks like he's not ready to actually kill you. He's looking like he's got no teeth. He's got no fire. He's got nothing. He he looks like he just cannot fight you. All he can do is run away and hope that you don't kill him. But, you know, you, you I mean, you're a god. You are ridiculously overpowered at this point in time. How can a 12-year-old child that doesn't want to kill you even hope to compete with you now? And you are so ready here. You are almost salivating in the idea that you are going to become the Phoenix King and the god god of this world. But then you hit the avatar and he gets chucked under some rocks. And something must have snapped in him because when he comes out of the rocks he's glowing like a glow stick. But it's not red or green, he's come out white and you are like what? Is this the avatar state? He grabs a hold of you and makes you look like a goddamn idiot. Next thing you know you are on the run. How strong is this thing? And you are getting completely overpowered. But you do have to remark at the the four elements circling around the avatar. It looks a bit goofy but that's whatever you know. You do you bro. You can't really think about that because you are running away with all of your might. But as you're running away the avatar manages to pin you down and he gets ready to give you the killing blow. Get ready and you're just pinned down just like Oh, well, but next thing you know, just a splash of water hits you and the avatar has got his back to you going, I can't, man, I can't kill anyone. It's just against my nature. You know, oh, I lost to this guy. I lost to someone who cannot kill another human being. Great. Thank you. What is this pacifist nonsense? He starts giving you some spiel and he kind of lets you go. So you, you get ready to perform your own killing blow. But as you do that, he doesn't even look behind you. He just fully locks you down with, in some rock. And you're just like, oh my God, like he didn't even have to look at me and do that. And he had a blind teacher. Did, it, did that blind teacher have echolocation? But then he places his hands on you and 
you feel like a tingly feeling, but not the good kind of tingly. And something inside you feels like it's starting to drain and he's like pushing his will on you. And you're like, no, no, no. But you are unbreakable. You are unbeatable. You are the fire lord. You will not lose to this. And so you resist this with all of your strength. And you actually nearly get the upper hand. But of course, plot armor is OP. You fall to the floor powerless. You try to throw some fire at him, but nothing comes out. And you're just like, what, what have you done to me? Sorry, man. I took away your bender. And like, it's the only thing I could have done. I don't want to kill you. It's just not who I am. So you just took away- I would rather die, man. Please, just kill me now, please. No, sorry, I can't. So you get taken away, and you end up seeing your daughter, Azula. Oh, Azula, did you do something with your hair? Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a like and tell me what you think is the funniest moment from the entirety of the Avatar series. Um, and also I want to shout out my members, Yuri, Lavender, and especially Alan. Thank you, have a great day, and have a great life.